Did your PC or laptop come with Windows 10 already installed but didn't include a disk in the box? Did you take advantage of the free upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and did it with just a download? Have you misplaced your original Windows 10 installation CD? No matter what your case may be, we'll show you here in just a few short minutes how easy it is to create your own Windows 10 installation USB stick. To show you how easy this has become over the last few years, the only things that we're gonna to need today to create our own USB flash drive for Windows 10 is a flash stick that is at least eight gigs in capacity that you don't mind wiping clean and a pretty good internet connection because we're talking about five gigabytes worth of data that we're gonna to need to download today. Once you're ready to get started, we can go ahead and insert your USB drive under My PC. We'll right click on that USB drive and do Format. Uh, from the window that pops up, we can accept the default. So we'll hit Start. We'll confirm one more time with an OK. We'll wait for a few seconds for that to complete. We'll hit OK and then we'll close out of these windows. Now we're ready to go open up the browser of your choice. We're going to search the web for download Windows 10. Uh, you can try a couple of different variations of this. Is pretty much all of them that we've found. The first link that comes up should be from Microsoft.com slash software download. So as long as that's the link you're finding, that's great. We'll also provide the direct link for you if you want. When you're on that page, there's a blue button for download tool now. Uh, whenever that finishes, we'll go ahead and click on that to get it to open and run. And that's going to allow us now to start the actual process of downloading Windows 10 and getting it ready to put onto the USB stick. There will be a few times in the video today that we fast forward the video just for the sake of uh, watching this back. Uh, this is the first of those and we're going to wait for it to pop up the screen with the terms and conditions where you are then able to click the accept button and we'll be waiting for it to move on to the next phase. The next question for us today is if we want to upgrade or we are going to select create installation media. Uh, we click next there to ask us to confirm a few things like language and version. We click next there. It'll confirm if we want a USB or an ISO file. For today, we are creating a USB drive. And then on this screen should be the same drive that we formatted just a little bit ago, but go ahead and select your USB drive. And then we'll go ahead and click the button one more time to get things started. And now we sit back and wait for Windows to actually download. While we're waiting on this, you can go get some coffee, do something else, or you can keep using your PC. That's perfectly okay. It's going to keep downloading in the background until it's ready, and we'll get a new screen to tell us when that is. So now it has finished downloading and it's going to do a quick check on the background to make sure that the files it downloaded look like they're not corrupted in any way before we try to copy them to the USB drive. We are finally to the part that we've all been waiting for. Now while it's copying over the Windows files to the USB stick, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit more and meet you back here in just a few seconds. At this point, our Windows 10 USB flash drive is now ready to go. So we can go ahead and click finish and that's going to just finalize everything right there on the USB stick. And we could go use it right now if we needed to. If something happened tomorrow, we'd be okay. We could pop this in, we could boot from this USB drive and we could reinstall Windows uh, if that's what we needed to do. We can go ahead and do one more thing just to kind of our own verification and show you how it might work if you wanted to use this to do an upgrade on another machine that may still be on a Windows 7 and use it for a Windows 10. Open up the flash drive under My PC and then we will double click on the setup file. Should be the last file that's listed there in the folder. And what this is going to do is it's now going to run a 
kind of an upgrade setup for us. Let us see what that looks like. Give us kind of a percent complete. And then we're gonna get to a screen here that comes up and says it is ready to do an upgrade. And that tells us that this thing is ready to go if we ever should need it. So there you are. Just one more tool that you can put in your toolbox for a little bit of disaster recovery planning for your home devices.